Hi everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Time for another knife review for you guys today. I've been a little busy with work the last couple of days, so I haven't been able to talk to you like I like to, but back at it today, which makes me very, very happy. Now today, we're going to be talking about a Best Tech knife. Now, this knife was provided by Best Tech for our pass around group, and we greatly appreciate Best Tech doing that for us. Now, there's a reason the knife is not in the knife holder, and the very simple reason for that is it won't fit, it's too small. So, I left it in the box. I kind of wanted to do it like this because. Presentation of this knife is actually pretty cool to me anyway. So as you can see there, Best Tech Knives. There's your model number. Of course you got your warranty information, all that good stuff. Comes with this nice, cool drawstring, nice little plush padded pouch. Of course you got a microfiber cloth for cleaning. But the knife we're going to look at is the Best Tech Reticulin. Now the Reticulin was designed by Eliza Isham. You got this pretty cool bronze anodized titanium which I really dig the look of that. Scales, backspacer, pocket clip. It's all got that pretty cool bronze look to it. I really dig that color. As I said, you've got the titanium pocket clip, right hand, tip up carry. Now the cool thing about the Reticulin is not only do you have pocket carry, I mean you could carry it, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I carried it like this with the pocket clip, but I used it, you know, the little fifth pocket in my jeans. That's how I carried it. Fit in there really great. But the cool thing about it is it also comes with this Kydex sheath. And you can carry it. Comes with a chain. Now you wouldn't have to use the chain. I mean, you could use paracord or whatever, you know, but you could carry it as a neck knife. I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, it's got really good retention on it. Take it out, just a little twist, and it pops right out of there. Snaps into place. I mean, this has got really, really good retention on that sheath. But so pops right out of there. I thought that was very, very cool. Now the reticulin, man, I gotta get it close, it's so little. Three inch, closed length on it. It is a manual flipper. Now also one thing you gotta, you know, remember a knife that small, you can't be putting any pressure on that frame lock or else it's just not gonna come open. But gotta watch that. It got me the first time, like it won't open. Oh, quit being a dummy. Oh, looky there, it works. <laughs> As I said, frame lock. Does have a steel insert on it. Over travel stop, all that good stuff. You've got a 2 and 1 8 inch S35 VN blade on it. Now, it's kind of a... They call it a drop point blade. I kind of see kind of a modified Warncliffe or Warncliffe. I mean, I say modified because it's not a full flat. It does curve a little bit. So they call it a drop point. So we'll call it that. Sure. Why not? Satin finish. One and seven eighths inch cutting edge on it. That's a little guy. 
5 inch fully open length. Made in China. We'll get some measurements on it. This guy's so small, I don't even know if it'll, the scale will read it. I know it will, but it's so little. There we go. What are you guys thinking? Take a quick guess. All right. Ounces. 1.2. 35 grams. Not a whole lot of weight to it. Now, as I said, I carried this in my little fifth pocket. So, I mean... As far as carrying goes, I mean, <laughs> you, you don't even know it's there, really. Um, and it's, let's get the widest point there. Uh, 0.39, the widest point. And, oh, let's see here. Maybe right there. Probably just over a three quarters of an inch so definitely definitely a little guy and I really I really dig that the, the neck knife option to it I did not carry it like that I, I carried it in my little jeans pocket but that that is a pretty cool option my take on the knife guys now I'll be perfectly honest with you Normally, my style and what I like, Isham's designs, those two things usually don't mesh. Like, if you remember, I did the Pleroma. I reviewed the Pleroma a while back. Great knife, built very well, don't get me wrong, but just the design of it just didn't fit me, my personality, my likes, you know. But great knife overall. Just probably not something I would ever think of buying. Just it didn't fit. This little guy, I, I'm I'm kind of digging this design. I really am. It's, I mean, it's an awesome little flipper. I mean, it's a snappy little guy. Just jumps right out there. Very smooth. Lockup is excellent, really solid. I love that blade. I do love the blade style. Clean it up a bit so you're not looking at my nasty fingerprints. There you got the Isham Crest and on that side. Get the best tech now. Obviously, there's not a lot of building, billboarding, excuse me, because there's not a lot of room for it. And then, right in there, you've got, oops, sorry, S35VN up there. Like I said, great lockup on it. I'm seeing probably, oh man. 25% but very solid for the size now a, little, a lot of people are going to say you know at the grip with the size now you've got this finger I mean basically finger toil I guess but just in the design but it really that locks into your finger you've got kind of a a sway on the blade there put your thumb on that and that thing really locks into your hand and I get I got a really good grip on that thing now it does leave you you do have this I, I'm I personally won't call it a finger choil I mean it is it is and it isn't to me it's not very deep. Obviously, you've got you don't your blade's not that big. 
So, yes, you could use it as a finger choil and then put your middle finger right there. And, again, got a pretty good grip. Get a good pinch grip on it. <clears throat> use the forward finger grip, like so. I don't know how much I would trust that. To me, and trust me, this is just me, then not even remote knife designer. I'd almost like to not remove this and just make a little smaller sharpening trail and give me just a little bit more blade length on it. Cutting edge, excuse me. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I, I would... That assists, but it, it still puts your finger in danger. Like I said, I would rather seen, because if I want to get up on it, I can do that or that. And I got much, you know, I've got a lot of control that way. Yeah, I'd almost rather seen a smaller sharpening choil and give me just a little bit more cutting edge on it. But overall, to me, it's a pretty cool little knife. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, Isham's designs are not really some ones that normally kind of fit my, what I like. But but this one, I'm, I'm kind of digging this little guy. Pretty cool little knife. Now we know Blue's going to like it. Small guy, small knife. He gave it an 8.5. Now, <laughs> the Best Tech Reticulin retails for right around $110. Full titanium, S35VN, Isham Design. That name, that name is going to raise that price. It, that's just the way it is. Pretty cool little knife overall, though. Again... I have to say thank you to Best Tech for offering up the reticulin to our pass around group. Very cool of them. And don't forget, guys, later on tonight, 10 p.m. Pacific, 1 a.m. Eastern. I know, oh my gosh, late. Saturday Knife Live. This week's topic, we're going to start, <laughs> we're going to start talking about um, EDC and fixed blades. I know uh, JR from the Sharp Spot, he was, I kind of missed, he was trying to ask me to see the couple of the fixed blades that I have here last week, and I missed that. I, I missed him ask, trying to ask that question. So, I thought, well, let's do a fixed blade show. So that's what we're going to talk about. Talk about EDC and some fixed blades. So hope you can be there. Love to have you join us. As always, guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love talking to y'all. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.